Hey, this is Tim with Expert Power Wash, showing you a bunch of random stuff, plumbing, working on this skid. Let me show you what we got done today. All right, we're doing a little bit of plumbing here. We got three tanks. This is on the, uh, the bottom side of the skid. We got them propped up here. So these are going to be inch and a half. We're using a, if you can see that there, three and an eighth. Best way to do this is just take one of your bulkheads, take it into the store, figure out which one's going to work. Like I said, these are inch and a half. They're gonna fit in here perfectly. So we have a little system for getting these into the bottom of the tank. Check out some of the other videos that I've posted. Uh, but you may be asking, why do we have three holes? Well, I'm gonna walk you through this. So basically, this one's going to go in here and then we'll jump over to this one. So these will be tied together, and then this one will be our drain. By doing that, by tying two tanks together instead of using one 200 gallon tank or an IBC tote, what we do is we eliminate some of the slosh by having two water tanks. So as you fill them, as one fills, they both fill together. Uh, and then of course that back tank there, we don't do any bulkheads in our bleach tank. That's gonna be a hundred gallon. Let me show you so I can put this in more, more perspective for you. This was a used skid that we got a hold of, so we're just kind of rebuilding it out. But yeah, that's how we're gonna set up our tanks. By doing this, don't mind the mess we're building, so I got stuff kind of laying around everywhere. We have, all three of these tanks don't even come to half, half of the skid. So yeah, let me get these tanks tied together and I'll show you. Real quick, I just wanted to mention before we get these things tied together, because you're not really going to get a better view of it until now, but look, look at all this. It's all plastic pieces. Look inside the tank there. I don't know if I can get my phone in there, probably not. You see all that? So obviously one, if you don't have filters in your tank, you're gonna have issues. But beyond that, when you do a build for the first time, pull off all this stuff, of course, but Vacuum out your tanks and make sure that they are thoroughly vacuumed out. There's a ton of debris on the bottom of that. You get one of those inside one of the check valves or in your plumbing, game over. You're going to be down a day or two trying to figure out what happened. So work clean, get this stuff cleaned up. Don't let it sit in your tank. Wasn't really going to record this, but since we're here, this has been done a ton of different ways. We're using a broom handle. We're gonna slide it right down. There's a gasket on there. You don't want that gasket to come off. You want that to be on the inside of the tank. That's what's gonna seal it. What we're gonna do is just slide it right down by the hole, reach in there and just pull it through. Um, I did a video a while back showing how I use a hose. The hose works just as well, sometimes better. But here's just another way I figured I would show you. All right, I decided I am gonna show you this. I won't make you look at some of my old videos, but got a piece of uh, pressure washing hose, whip line, you might be able to do this with an extension cord or a piece of rope or something like that. But anyways, if you can see down through there, I got it coming out the hole. So right down here, you see how it's popping out? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the bulkhead. Right here. Make sure your seal's on there, make sure it's facing the right way. Let's see if I can, my phone will hold up here or not, probably not. Maybe just for a minute. All right. I just needed my two hands here for a second. So if you can see this, I'm gonna slide this on. I'll change around the camera here so you guys can see this. It's probably not picking up. All right. All right, let her drop in. It's okay if the seal comes off. It'll be on there at the bottom. All right, let's go take a look. All right, we got the seal. There it goes. You see how that just slides, the, the hose uses it as a guide. We'll have to put the seal on there. I'm gonna need both hands on this, but you get the picture. Bulkhead slides down, goes right down into the hole. All right, that definitely needed two hands. 
So my hose is in here. I'm just gonna push it through, pull it back out the top. Some of these videos might be boring. I know it's kind of like the more technical side. It's not the glamorous blitz of making $2,000 a day as some of the other YouTubers talk about, but I think this is one of the biggest opportunities I see in our industry is uh, guys out there don't know how to fix things, don't know how to work on things, don't understand how things work. And if you're trying to go out there and make a bunch of money, you're only gonna be as good until your equipment breaks down. You're not gonna be able to put it back together. So yeah, that's how you put a bulkhead in. I hope that helps. We're gonna get the rest of this all plumbed up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. One thing I wanted to add, I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't know how to work on their stuff, but I'm happy to do it for you. It's not gonna be free. Don't pop by our shop and expect me to take my wash time out and put your whole rig together for free. This stuff does take time, does take a little bit of knowledge. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm giving you guys knowledge away for free. So this is the only free stuff I'm gonna do for you. So this is how you do it, you put it together. But uh, we do build rigs. We have put together several rigs. I wouldn't say I'm the best in the industry, but I have a basic idea of how this stuff works. So if you're in the Portland area, you want me to put something together for you, get a hold of me, I don't mind doing it. Um, we had one guy that wanted us to build a trailer and uh, I know it's kind of boring, just looking at a hose here. And we gave him a price for the trailer and then he ended up calling almost every single day asking for advice. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do something like that. So here's your free advice. Otherwise, if you want us to put something together for you, let me know, happy to do it. All right, here's a random insert. So this is a piece of the plastic that I cut out of the tank. Look at how thick this is. This is ridiculous. So these are the new 100 gallon tanks that we've been getting. These are the ones with the, with the lids on both sides. We do sell these. We're not gonna ship them because they're expensive to ship, but we have two now, a little bit dirty from being outside in storage, seven gallon soap tanks, but yeah, this thing is, this is ridiculous. It's not like some of the other flimsy ones that we've seen. This thing is, it's pretty stout. So I didn't measure it again. I don't know how thick it is, but that's some thick plastic. I feel like I'm giving you guys the, the true blue print on how to, how to do this kind of thing. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. That was dumb, huh? Dad joke. All right, 90 degree fittings. Like I was showing you this stuff. This is what we use on all our plastic to plastic. This stuff's phenomenal. Don't use thread tape or, I don't, I don't know. There's probably other stuff that's, that works just as well, but we've had really good luck with this stuff. So all this will get true blued, but I wanted to kind of give you this tip here. Pick up some of this, it works really well, seals up really good and lasts a long time too. Uh, the stuff's actually been bleach resistant as far as I know. We've used this on a lot of the our, our uh, bleach plumbings, so, or bleach plumbing fittings, who knows. It's Saturday morning, it's been a long week, but I'm trying to share some knowledge here, give you guys some tips. Let's get back to getting this thing put together. All right, this is about how much I put on here. I just like to kind of burying the threads. You don't want to overdo it. You're going to have a, a bunch of goop everywhere. But as you can see on this one, I like to see like a nice little ring come out above the threads when it's all the way screwed in. I mean, there's not an exact science to it, but that's, I know if I have a little bit coming out past the threads then I'm going to have a really good seal. So again, there's that, the next one. See, it's just a little bit out. It seems to be about the perfect science. You may ask, what in the world is this nonsense? Why do we have two things pointing to each other? Uh, you guys already know. I'll show you when it's done. We're doing like little bits and pieces here, but I'll show you how to do this. Alrighty, <clears throat> excuse me. Here's what it looks like. We got crush proof hose in here. That's probably overkill. You don't probably need that, but inch and a half going out down to there. 
and then we have a dump valve installed there inch and a half the reason why we use such a larger diameter hose for our uh, dump tubing there is uh, we don't want to wait forever for this thing to drain so inch and a half there inch and a half there I believe I showed you earlier in the video all this stuff here The biggest thing was getting this thing plumbed up and just about ready. It's Saturday, I'm gonna call it a day and finish this up probably Sunday or something. But this is what we did over here with the feed. We just had a small piece of that blue tubing. It's uh, basically the same stuff. Actually, this stuff's a little bit more flexible than this. But uh, it goes into a one inch uh, filter. We typically use Y filters, the Banjo Y filters. This was a uh, spare one that we had, so I decided just to, to use it up and see how it works out. If not, then we'll change it back to a Y filter. But let me go up here, let me show you here. So we got it coming up over into the machine, pretty basic stuff. Now I was working on, I'll show you here. I've always ran both the power and the negative over to the battery and decided that we were gonna try something different this time. So here's the negative. What I did is I made a new red cable, which kind of goes down in and then under there, runs over to the box, I'll show you here. This is one of the, just a kind of a side comment. This is a, one of those buyer's boxes. These things, these things are stout. Um, I've seen the cheaper ones on Amazon, like under 200 bucks or something. Even see some of the builders using these cheap ones, but uh, this is what you want. These buyer's boxes, all aluminum. All right, I'm trying to squeeze by. Sorry about the, the video shot there. It's kind of a skinny area here. This is what we did here. Tried to make it really clean. We got the uh, 50 amp circuit breaker there. Used a uniseal, half inch uniseal. This made the uh, cutting through the aluminum really clean. So a bunch of random stuff there. I have the machine unhooked right now, but I was testing the hose reels and we tried something again different on the hose reels as well as just running the positive on the machine. So right now I'm gonna flip this. I'm trying to look through my phone into this. Okay, we got that. So you see the negative battery terminal? So that goes out the uh, uniseal right there. And then what we did is we just grounded it to the aluminum. I used to think, maybe I'm just, I don't know anything about electricity. I really don't honestly, but I used to think that you couldn't ground something to aluminum, but that's not the case. So it comes right out. So we just grounded the battery. That way, you know, the machine running to the battery, it's already grounded. Same thing with the hose reel. So all we had to do is just run positive wires on the hose reels. These are the Kings. So what we did here is we got these uh, cramped and heat shrunk. But what we did is we just kind of daisy chained these together. See, power. So this one, so this one runs over to the battery and then we daisy chain it, chain it. You see the uh, power cord behind there, zip tied it all real neat. We got same thing here, got it running there. And then this one daisy chains back over to this one. I hope that makes sense. Here's a better, better view of it. The Titans are pretty similar to this. So again, just a positive wire running to this. No ground, because obviously the, uh, the hose reels bolted to the skid, which the skid is grounded to the battery. Hopefully I'm explaining that right. It makes sense in my mind, but uh, just trying to explain that might not make sense or it might be confusing, but try to make it really simple. Again, just make sure your ground's really good. This is a uh, heat shrunk, crimped, real thick cable. I think it's a uh, six gauge, four or six gauge. 
and then just comes on over through there. So, all right, what do we got left on this thing? Uh, we got to run the Hudson float valve, put some hose on this thing, put a gas tank over there. I ordered one of those nice, well, another Boyd's welding. Really love those gas tanks, but I'll probably end up having to put just one of those temporary boat tanks on here for now, but that's about it. Run some gasoline to this thing and then some water. It's about ready. Got to bolt that down. Got a surface cleaner rack. I'll show you that real quick. If anybody's looking for one of these, it's insane to ship this stuff right now. But any of the local Portland guys, we got a builder out here that is going to make these. I'm not sure what he's going to charge yet, but you see how the uh, whisper wash just slides right in there. And then over here, what's kind of neat about it is we wanted to offset to the back. There's a little storage space. So if I went up there, obviously, eh, I'm not going to climb up there. But you can put extra rope up there, hose, whatever. It's kind of a neat little like 16 inch storage, 16 by 16, something like that. But yeah. So I'll finish this thing up. I'll probably give you a, a walkthrough later on. But this was just a used skid. There's nothing, nothing fancy about this. There's even some spilled sealer on this. Not even going to worry about it. We're just going to run it. It's going to wash. All right, guys. Hope you have a great week. If it's Saturday, you're watching this today. Have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you guys soon.